scrape any website with this AI agent. Today, guys, I want to share with you an interesting library or interesting project that I've been hearing a lot about, which is called Firecrawl. Firecrawl basically allows you to extract data or scrape data. And the magic of Firecrawl is mostly the fact that it integrates with LLMs and basically it allows you to scrape different layouts of websites in a more efficient manner and what do i mean by that let's say you want to scrape an e-commerce website usually if you wanted to scroll different websites the crawl or scrape different websites you had to go into each website and figure out the html and the layout of each specific website and you sh had to crawl each website separately now using a a file crawl or an attached LLM, you basically can scrape or crawl or extract data from different websites that have different layouts just because you're leveraging the LLM uh, ability to think or analyze the page. And based on the analysis, it knows how or and which fields it should return based on the context. So, for example, um, let's say you wanted to use to scrape different e-commerce websites. I have an example here. You did. You don't have to go into each website and define. Okay, this is the headline of the product. This is the description of the product. This is the rating and this is the pricing. And then you come to Amazon, and you want to scrape more e-com uh, products. So you had originally you had to go. And again, say to the scraper, to Beautiful Soup or Microsoft Power Automate, whichever tool you're using for scraping, you had to define exactly what is the product name, the product rating and price. So basically, each website that has a different layout, you had to define or instruct the scraper to operate differently based on the layout. Now, using Firecrawl, this changes because it can basically as I said, analyze the context and spit out the relevant fields which are universal based on your needs. So if you want to scrape the ratings and product prices, it doesn't matter which website is going to scrape, it's going to scrape the correct pricing and names of the products. Now let me just show you some data about Firecrawl. It's an open source project. You can find it on GitHub. This is uh, the rating, the amount of forks, and here they have like an explanation about what is Firecrawl. Basically, you can crawl and convert any website into LLM ready markdown. It's in early uh, development. There are still a few hiccups. It's not 100% working in all cases, but still the idea is very impressive. And I'll show you in a, mo in a moment an example. So basically, Firecrawl is an API service that takes URL, crawls it, and converts it into a clean markdown or structured data. And you can use it in using API, Python, Node SDK, Langchain integration, Llama index integration, Langchain JS integration. So pretty uh, extensive abilities to integrate and pretty um, amazing and useful. They have great documentation over here which I'll show you. This is the example I want to show you in a moment. This is the, the documentation. Um, you have the blog, the community, which is the Discord community, how to get started, which is very straightforward, some explanation about the features, which I'm not going to go over. And this is the most important section, in my opinion, is how exactly to get up and running and extract website data using an LLM. So basically, you have to install the Python dependencies. In this case, you're going to use Grok and Firecrawl. And then you basically get your API keys. You load the website. Over here, this is an example. You add the API keys. And over here, you add... Over here, you add exactly which are the fields that you would like to extract. So summary date, companies, building, etc. So this, these are the columns that you would like to extract. And it doesn't matter what is the data, what the data looks like. 
in that specific web page, the LLM is going to analyze the data and based on the analysis, it's going to spit out the summary, the date, and the amount of companies relevant. So here exactly is the prompt that you're going to give to the scraper. You are a legal advisor who extracts information from documents in JSON. And basically your role is to extract the following information from the provided documentation and it provides the info. So this is just an example of how to use this in Python. Obviously, if you wanna use it in production, you need to make adjustments, but I wanted to share with you an example from the playground. And basically what they did here is very straightforward. This is the playground. I came to the LLM extract and I wanted to see how well it extracts it, it extracts um, ecom information. So I set the extraction schema, which is basically I want the name of the product, the description of the product and the price. You can add over here what other properties you'd like. And then I provided the extraction prompt. So exactly what I expect from the scraper or crawler is basically what happens now behind the scenes is we are going to scrape this website, convert it into Markdown, then send the Markdown to the LLM. The LLM using this prompt will analyze the data and it will return the relevant information based on, this, on the field that I wanted, that I requested. So you are an expert in extracting data from e-commerce websites. Whenever given an e-com website, you're able to find the products, the description and prices. So this is the page that I wanted to call. Here's the example. It looks like this. We have the product names, the ratings and the pricing. And when I hit the run button, this is what I got as an example. Clinic, the dramatically different moisturizing face lotion, whatever that means. This is the name, this is the price, and this is the description. Now we can come here, look for this. And you, as you can see, it scraped it correctly. This is just an example. It scraped the price, the lower price only, not the upper price. Um, but it took the, the name and the price. And then what else did it take? The price, the description. Okay, so the description, the name and the price. Now I wanted to use the same scraper because let's imagine that I want to scrape many different e-com websites. Like let's say I want to scrape my competitors. So I don't want every time to enter a new website and define the fields again and like look for the HTML tags for the specific layout. So in this case, I took the same example, the same, uh, sorry, the same prompt, the same extraction schema. And I just came here to Amazon and I want to scrape a specific page which contains Kindle books. But again, let's imagine this also contains skincare products and all I want to get is the product names, descriptions and the pricing. So I came here, I defined the name, the description and the price. This is exactly similar to what I did over here with Alta or Ulta or however you pronounce it. Then I gave it the same extraction prompt so basically it scraped this page and then it took the markdown, the data from the page, sent it to the LLM using this prompt and it returned this name, the name of the book. In this case, it's Night Road, a novel. This is the description and this is the price. Now let's look it up. Let's find it over here. Yes, so as you can see over here, it was able to scrape the name, the price and the description, although the description is not visible, but probably somewhere in the HTML, it is visible and this is pretty amazing. So should I give another example? I'm not sure because this basically is the gist of Firecrawl and I think it, it uh, conveys the message. Basically, what you can do is decide whatever you want to scrape. You don't have to go into specific websites and define the exact HTML tags or figure out the exact layout because all you need to do 
is provide the URLs, then provide a universal prompt. By the way, this prompt isn't so good. I didn't like really craft the prompt correctly or didn't think about how to craft the prompt. It's just something that I wrote very fast. Probably I could have given it a better prompt to get better results. And then I got out the extraction. This is like the examples. Um, this is just an example. This is the full response of all the products, prices, the names and the descriptions. And as you can see, it shines. I mean, the main advantage is the fact that you can use this for different URLs and you don't have to define the layout. Obviously, this is just an example from the playground. What you have to do if you want to do this on scale, you have to use the Python or any other library. Just use this as um, guidance because this is exactly the documentation that you need. Just You can just follow this code. Basically, this is these fields are similar to what I defined over here. And this prompt is similar to what I defined over here. And basically, there you go. You have a universal crawler or universal scraper. You can use Firecrawl to scrape any website that you'd like, assuming that they don't have any uh, anti-spam or anti-detection abilities. Uh, for this, you probably need to use other libraries, which I can cover in other videos if you're interested. But if the websites allowed simple scraping, it's, this is definitely an interesting tool to use and utilize. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use this in production level because as I, as I said before, there are still a few hiccups, but I believe this is a very interesting idea and I see it um, improving and when it will improve and as soon as it will have le less hiccups and produce better results without many fine tuning because what I did over here, I just showed you the end results because I wanted to convey the message, but it took some research and fine tuning in order to get what I expected. So when this becomes a bit more straightforward and produces better results consistently, I think it's very, it's going to be very powerful because it's basically a universal scraper and it will cut down a lot of time that we need to invest when building a scraper and calling different websites because every website has a different layout. So leveraging the power of the LLM, the mind or the the analysis abilities of the LLM into the scraping uh, mechanism is very powerful and it's definitely something that you should check out if you're interested in extracting data from different websites. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video about Firecrawl. Definitely check it out if you're interested in scraping data. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the video. And obviously leave a comment in the comment section if you're interested in this stuff. I will definitely create more videos similar to this. Um, I guess that's it for today. Until next time, keep on automating.